Hey, long time no see. All right, November 3rd. In the care of something unseen. Genius is a crisis that joins the buried self for certain moments to our daily mind. William Butler Yates. We have been trained to think of a genius as an unusual brilliance of mind, an ability to retain or calculate or conceptualize uncanny amounts of information. But the original sense of a genius means attendant spirit. Being in the care of something unseen but near. It is really another definition of wholeness or God, another way of acknowledging the Tao, the unseeable stream we all swim in. <gasps> okay, I am digging this one today. What Yeats offers us is an insight into life on earth. The great Irish poet suggests that crisis is an unexpected jarring of our ways that bring us into contact with our attendant spirit. Oh, I would definitely agree there. I'm reminded that the Chinese ideogram for danger also means opportunity. How did I not know this? This is rad. This is not to suggest that we seek out danger, but that we look for the openings when broken by experience by which we can find our connection to the unseeable stream we often forget we are a part of. Perhaps the purpose in crisis, if there is one, is not to break us as much as to break us open. Oh my God, I am feeling this so hard today. So this is gonna be, okay, this might, this is gonna sound like a rabbit hole. So my second daughter, it, she's much more normal now but when she was little she was one of the strangest and most wonderful people ever i mean all my children all my children are amazing but memphis was really kind of weird and she was hiding under the baby's high chair one day and she popped her head out she had a blanket over the high chair and she popped her head out and she was like mom 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 and so i was like yeah i was doing dishes and she's like this is what a genius looks like. And I was like, okay, weirdo. <laughs> but now here's the other thing that she would do. I had this cabinet full of books. All my, all my books were in there. And I would find her with the cabinet doors open and she would have a book and she would be like, she'd be talking and whispering into her book. And I was like, what are you doing? And then she'd get all like, hmm. And she'd put her book away and then she'd be kind of embarrassed, but she would say, I'm talking to my, my Chinese friends and she had their names. She would, there was three of them. She would tell me their names and then she would close them back up in the book and stick it back in the cabinet. So, uh, I am just kind of, you know, it's one of those, those aha moments for me, like, whoa. And it's just all of it, all of it. And now knowing that the Chinese ideogram for danger also means opportunity. I'm having a moment, y'all. I'm having a moment. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, let's move on to mindful moment. Mindful moment. Sit quietly and feel the unseeable stream you are part of. Breathe slowly and meditate on your genius, your attendant spirits. Breathe softly and expose whatever crisis you are in to your attendant spirit. If you can, move through your day feeling both your crisis and the depth of your genius. Let them join. <sighs> yes, this is awesome. I love it. I love it. I love it. I hope you love this as much as I do because I love it and I love it for you because it's just weird. And I think, I think you weirdos out there kind of need this <laughs> or you're like, man, I already know all this stuff, but yeah, I think your daily dose of weirdness from, oh wait, what am I doing? I know I forget to do this sometimes. Okay. There it is. There's the book. And you can go order this. The Book of Awakening by Mark Nepo. Having the life you want. 
by being present to the life you have. Check out bookshop.bookshop.org because bookshop you can get like almost all the books I talk about, you can get um, on there. And it just is so much better for bookstores and the people who write the books. Um, you know, bookstores are closing down and that would suck. I, w I cannot imagine life without bookstores. Amazon's great, but bookstores are important. So um, if you can't shop at your local bookstore, or if you can't find this book, or any book that you're looking for, like at thrift shop or whatever, check out bookshop.org, okay? I love you. Have a great day. I'm going to go hang out with my son. Bye.